It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, before we get started, uh, I want to let you know that... Uh, Beverly Hillbilly Facts and Trivia, uh, Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia, and Classic TV Facts and Trivia are taking a break this weekend. Um, actually, I'm taking the break, but Andy Griffith will go on through. Uh, just getting a breather from the other three, and we'll be back with them on Monday. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, actually, the Beverly Hillbillies is doing really good. Uh, I just kind of need a break from it because there's like I say there's only so much out there but there's a lot of stuff for the Andy Griffith show which why we love it so much okay I've gone 49 50 seconds already without even getting into the video though so here we go today's video is on Ernest T. Bass it's me it's me it's Ernest T. you ever wonder where that T comes from what it is what it stands for keep watching It's me, it's me, it's Ernest T. You can't say that line without hearing Howard Morris' iconic delivery on The Andy Griffith Show. And for years after appearing as the Mayberry Hillbilly, Morris continued repeating the line to adoring fans and public appearances. On The Andy Griffith Show, we never learned what the T in Ernest T. Bass stood for, but according to the Tennessean in 1989, writer Everett Greenbaum, who helped create the character, uh, demystified the name, uh, the name's origins. I'm sorry, my computer's messing up. Uh, Greenbaum said the T was a tribute to one of his favorite characters, Frank T. Whip, who appears on Greenbaum's first hit show, Mr. Peepers. Now, Mr. Peepers was an early 1950s sitcom that gave Tony Randall of the Odd Couple his big breakout role. It was about a group of teachers and students, and the character Frank T. Whip was created to be the new gym teacher after the original gym teacher leaves. The original gym teacher was played by Walter Matthau, but the subsequent gym teacher was played by Jack Warden uh, in his first recurring TV role. Warden is probably best known to TV audiences for playing another coach. He won an Emmy for his portrayal of George Hollis in the moving, dramatic 1970s TV movie Brian's Song. But on Mr. Peepers, his character was played purely for humor, just like Ernest T. Bass. Frank T. Whip was a pompous high school coach whose sole purpose was to be hilarious, and in his this role, a warden delivered to the point that Greenbaum kept a little bit of the character uh, like hidden treasure by planting Frank's middle initial into the name of Ernest T. Bass. It wasn't his only personal touch that Greenbaum added when naming Ernest T. Bass. Uh, the Bass is reference to someone whose career is iconic in a different way from the Mayberry Hillbilly. The story goes that Saul Bass, the Oscar-winning genius behind the iconic Hollywood title uh, sequences like the eerie animated slashes in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, gave Greenbaum's brother a job when he needed it. Greenbaum was so grateful, he named a TV character after Bass. Thanks to an animated performance by Howard Morris, that character became Ernest T. Bass as we knew and loved him. The next time you watch an episode where wide-eyed Ernest T. Bass pops out and adds mayhem, Remember, there's a little bit more psycho in the character than you even realize. We <laughs> did Ernest T. Bass. Um, somebody was in the comments, uh, like actually two people, and was like, we would like to hear more about Ernest T. Bass. And I'm like, well, that's cool because the next video is on Ernest T. Bass. So uh, now you know where the T come from in Ernest T. Bass. Don't necessarily know what it means. I'd like to think it means troublemaker myself, the capital T and a capital R and a capital Ubble. Um, but you pick out your own. Uh, in the comment section below, what do you think the T should stand for? Mine is troublemaker. Now remember, uh, Andy Grip, uh, the Beverly Hillbilly Spikes and Trivia and Classic TV Facts and Trivia and Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia taking a weekend break. We'll be back on Monday. 
uh, but you can still go over there and check out some old videos and stuff. There's plenty of videos to watch and uh, keep you entertained for a minute or two anyway. Head on over there. Uh, and if you haven't been to Classic uh, Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia, head on over there and please subscribe. Thank you. Uh, that's all I have for you. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. And I'll be praying for you.